all segments that pressure sensitive closures are used, personal and home care, where it could be towelettes for baby wipes, it could be towelettes for uh, household cleaning, uh, towelettes where you apply sunscreen, they're also um, for makeup removal. Um, in foods, uh, it could be in the produce section where you may have lettuce or spinach with the thermal form package, but it may have a pressure sensitive lid where you can open and close and get at the contents at your leisure. Uh, yes, there are four main components of a pressure sensitive reclosure. Uh, the first would be the flex packaging, which is, the which is referred to as a flow wrap. Mm -hmm. There is the pressure sense of labeling material itself. There is the die cut within the flow wrap, which is the opening to the package, referred to as the racetrack. And lastly, is a cut within the label, referred to as a fish hook. The package flow wrap is, the, is a flex pack material that a wide web flex pack supplier would do the printing and the laminating of multiple components. It can possibly contain um, polyester, polypropylene, or a heat sealing coating or layer. And it can serve as a barrier, oxygen barrier or moisture barrier, to protect the contents to keep them fresh. The PS closure material is one of the most important parts of the reclosure system in that it provides the functionality that the end user is looking for. He may be looking for a very smooth, buttery opening. He may be looking for something that is a little zippy, a little noisier to indicate it may be tighter. The die cut on the flow wrap is the opening where you get the contents out of the package, sometimes referred to as the racetrack. There's, there are J hooks that are cut into the label material itself that serve as a hinge and they're referred to as fish hooks. Reclosure is one of the most complex packaging challenges in the market today. Let me give you a glimpse of what the value chain looks like. First, there's the pressure sense of label material supplier. There's the converter. There is the wide web flex pack supplier. And then there's the co-packer. As a converter, you have a choice of how big of a role you want to play in that value chain. You can be the specifier of the material as a reclosure. You can be the printer and die cutter of that material. You can also dispense that label onto the flow wrap and die cut the flow wrap given it is racetrack. There are many things to consider in choosing the right pressure material for reclosure. What are the contents? Are they wet or are they dry? Is this food? Does it require FDA requirements? Are there harsh chemicals involved? So we have to make sure that this adhesive has product resistance. What's the shelf life of this product? Or how many servings are in this package? We need to make sure that this performs as is specified.